Welcome back to another episode of the Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be taking a look at some Puma Lamello balls, this time in the iridescent dream colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store today we will be talking i guess this has been my this will be my third unboxing on a Puma Lamello ball. I must say, I'm absolutely obsessed with these. So this, I think, may be my favorite color of the three so far, as I've done in the past, the UFOs. Go check that out if you haven't already. Or the triple whites. Check those videos out. They're great ones. But we are finally doing a darker colorway. So we're going to start off with the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really cool color combination. Then we'll conclude with how well these are doing on the resale market. All right, let's jump right into it. So again, these are the Puma Lamello Balls MB1s. And this is just such a beautiful, classy color scheme that we've got going on. The upper is in a nice, just simplistic kind of matte black on the front of the toe box. We do have more of a metallic black color scheme going on the tongue here. We've got this nice metallic -y, almost purplish blue color scheme going on for the knot from here. Again, the other Lamello Ball MB1s that I've done in the past are part of this knot from here campaign. So really cool that they have just continued to add these great colorways, especially since they are so dramatically different. As we work our way up, we've got simplistic black laces, which just go quite nicely with the meshing on the black tongue. And then for more pops of that really cool, just metallic color scheme of blue and purple, we've got it on Lamello Ball's emblem here. And then we've got the one of one as well in that matching color combination. Let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side paneling. All right, so wrapping around to the side paneling, we do have the one of one here in this nice kind of metallic black colorway. As we wrap around, we've got that nice floral print in a matte black color scheme underneath, just simplistic darker shades of black underneath. We've got mellow on the back with the Puma logo, again, in that really cool metallic colorway. And as we wrap around, we've got that flower just nicely embroidered there. And I think it just gives this nice monochromatic, simplistic black take on a very classic silhouette that has really become extremely popular, specifically for those who love to play ball in these. These are extremely 
extremely comfortable. Again, I've said this many times before, I really wish when I was playing basketball, these were around because I think by far, this has to be in my top five favorite basketball sneakers right now that I would play in. On the interior, we do have just nice black for the collar, but we've got this really cool atmosphere with stars that are glimmering, which match the box. You've seen this box. It looks kind of like a, a spaceship of some kind, but this is probably one of my favorite packagings that I've seen from Puma. And I just love this knot from here, whole kind of perspective that they give us with the whole packaging from the sneaker to the box itself. Uh, and then for the midsole, we do have just this nice, clean, kind of translucent color scheme in a dark black. You can kind of see through it a little bit. And then the sneakers finish off with a black outsole. Let's take a look at those last and final details. All right, so jumping into size and fit. So I've mentioned before I was going up half a size in these. These do run a bit small. I felt like the eights honestly were a little bit snug for me. My toes felt a little crammed in the toe box region. I definitely wouldn't have been able to go with my true to size on these. So I decided to actually test out the eight and a half. The eight and a half does feel a little bit more comfortable. I have found that because my toe actually, when it hits underneath this kind of rubber rubberized material it's not as flexible so my toes now kind of reach this portion of the toe box region and it's just such a different feeling that seems a little bit more malleable and flexible and easier on my feet when I am kind of doing some agilities in these so I would recommend at least going half a size up in these especially if you like to have a little extra space in your sneakers specific specifically for a performance based sneaker if you do have high arch narrow feet definitely take that into consideration but if you do have wider flatter feet that could actually differentiate something that may work completely different for you all right so now let's talk about how i style this color scheme you guys know how i feel about me some all black and sometimes dark gray i only work in black and sometimes very very dark gray so this is definitely something that was easy to really match into my wardrobe so for the first look i definitely went with an all black look i wore a cropped tee with a nice kind of spandex look uh definitely can go all black with these even if it's sweatpants or denim this is definitely a great go-to if you're just trying to just blend this with a monochromatic fill for an all black look For the second look, switched it up a little bit for a dressier feel. I wore an all black look again, but this time with a leather mini skirt and I topped that off with a bustier top in black.
And then for the last and final look, I decided to switch up some collar options for a more casual feel. And I wore some just nice oversized gray sweatpants with a oversized striped long sleeve shirt in blue and gray. So you let me know down below, what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these? currently doing on the resale market. So I will say Puma is having such an amazing just resale experience with the LaMelo Ball MB1s. These are literally selling at such crazy high points specifically in the darker colorways. So these retailed at 125, which I think is such a great price point for a basketball sneaker. And these are going between 170 to $200, which is pretty crazy for a Puma sneaker. Uh, so definitely if you have not tried out the LaMelo Ball MB1s, you've got to get your foot in these and you've got to test them out, specifically if you plan to play ball in these. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time. Thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below and hit that notification box. We have so much heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next episode.